What's going on guys? Afflicted Gamer here back with another Division video and it is week 2 of the PTS here on PC. State of the game just finished and console players they are saying now next week and to check your email at the beginning of the week. Uh, and apparently the PTS that is in the PlayStation Store you shouldn't even be able to preload it but you know what we'll get into all that into another video. Not sure what's going on, but uh, anyways, they said they're on, on schedule for next week. However, global events are now live, and I figured we should go through one live. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. If so, please drop a like on it. It does help me out, and I do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, then consider subscribing for more Division content like this, and obviously much more on the way, because with global events and all the new stuff that we're getting, I will be participating in all of it and playing it, because, well, love the game. Okay, so we're reading all this stuff here. We can uh, do global events, modifiers, etc., and during a global event, you can earn global event credits by completing activities. Exchange GE credits for GE caches at the GE vendor. These caches come in two tiers at different costs. Global event caches contain a chance for classified gear and a unique vanity item. Okay, alright, cool. Now, <clears throat> they also said on State of the Game that we can finally re-roll our classified gear. Oh, and our global event timer is on for three days. Then they're going to shut it off and turn it back on. So do I still have the same gear on? I do. Okay, now I can go back to my original my original setup here. Stamina, Firearms for Health, and Electronics. Alright. Now, we, since we can reroll the gear, I'm actually going to do that. And then we're going to go in here and check this out. Oh, wow. Okay. Four days left. We're going to go look in there in just a moment. But now, in terms of the classified gear, Seeing as we can re-roll it, I pretty much picked the, the pieces I wouldn't have to touch, to be quite honest. Other than I think, yeah, the backpack. Let's get rid of crit damage. I'm going to throw some health on there. Even though it, you're pretty tanky with Striker, we all know that. But, still. Okay. Gloves, I believe all I wanted to change was health on kill for crit chance because, well, with the new striker set, you don't need health on kill. They are going to be tweaking the striker a little bit so you don't get quite as much health. We'll see how that all turns out. Overall, I think it will still be one of the most powerful gear sets in the game. Alright, and again... We'll put health on here. I've got shock resist, damage to elites, disrupt resist, and now I've got over 16,000 health. Nice. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. I uh, just woke up a little while ago. So, alright, you know what? I could throw some, uh, some mods in here also as well since this is all set up and ready to go. We'll, uh, we'll get this first aid self heal and seeker damage. Put that in here. There we go. Uh, if you hear any background noise, excuse it, because I'm using my Snowball mic, which is a little different than my usual setup. So, let's see. On PC, I don't have as many, as many goodies as I do on console. But I'll get there. Alright, let's do this. Apparently we will not be able to test all of the gear sets also, uh, according to the very last state of the game, which is unfortunate. So Hunter's Faith, etc. doesn't look like we're going to get to touch that. Alright, good enough. Let's go see global events. <clears throat> Hello, event progress. Cleaner headshot kills, cleaners killed, group headshots, infected NPCs, and time spent poisoned. Awesome. Alright. Anything you have for me for free yet? No. Alright. We're broke. We gotta go get some. And, alright. Global event is called Outbreak. 
Always active headshot kills, increase headshot damage for a short duration, and spread bleed to nearby targets. That's pretty cool. Threat level 1. Outbreak behavior plus enemies are contagious and will drain agents' health when close. Hmm. Threat level 2. Threat level 1 behavior plus headshot marked enemies can be killed instantly with a headshot from any other team member. I'm going in solo. Let's see. And it also says to retrieve my free cipher keys. Let's go check that out real fast. And then we're going to go to the global event. Well, I don't have any. You liar. Anyways. That's I'll catch you around. No hard feelings. <clears throat> And the global event is Hudson Refugee Camp. Let's, uh, we've got that, Dragon's Nest, Napalm. Okay, let's, uh, let's go do Hudson Refugee Camp. So this is me just loading into the game. <clears throat> just woke up. Not sure what to expect. All right, replay mission. Doesn't matter what setting you're on. Okay, the lower the tier of setting, the less you get. You know what? Just for the video purposes, let's go in on hard, just to just to check it out. And outbreak, threat level one or two. Oh my goodness! All right, we'll do that. If this is too easy, we're just gonna ramp Agent, it up. It's Dr. Candle. But l let's go check this out. The vital importance of safeguarding any civilians you may come across. The map <clears> says some of those people must Again, have survived Again, excuse, uh, excuse the little that means running cough I have going on here. I need to have a hope in hell of fighting this thing. And the ones who are just sick, having a broader genetic diversity of virus samples will help us track the virus's rate. Of oh, they're infected. Look at the symbols over their head. That's pretty until cool. Until I get what I need from them. Got that? Great. Readings indicate an echo nearby. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! Infected right there. I saw that. Right on. Uh, okay. So it's almost like it's almost like sickness in underground. Whoa, how am I supposed to live through this? <laughs> I'm glad I didn't put it on challenging to go in here by myself. So if they shoot me, if they get any shots off on me, I'm I'm quite hurt. Oh wow, okay. We'll see how this all ends. It looks like this will finally be a cover based shooter. Oh, Jesus, what? Damn, they didn't Let's get out of there. It. I'm good. Go back to full health. All right, let's let's proceed. Well, good thing that striker gives you the, the healing ability. I honestly don't want him to uh, to hit me. Too. That sounds pretty cool. Okay, and also, just quick note: I'm doing this live, obviously, live commentary. So at times, I may not, I may not speak. Where is he going? Uh, just for concentration. Oh, 
<laughs> you know what? I didn't think it'd be that big of a deal, to be completely honest, with the uh, the whole headshot thing and and stuff coming out of the cleaners. But it it looks pretty cool. I will say that. So what do you guys think about global events then for those of you that have tried it, for those of you that are just seeing it for the first time, obviously let me know at the end of the video. It's just got this, this started here. Really curious to see how it's all going to turn out. Now I want to shoot everything just for the uh, the later accommodations, to be honest. It is nice to see, you know, the work you've done is is recognized. And also, I know I said this, but you know, I hope that the mic quality is okay because I'm using a snowball, not my headset. My headset is just not compatible with uh, with my PC. I don't know why. Contamination levels increasing. You hear that, Agent? You're walking into the team right now. But hopefully, it sounds okay. Keeping any infected refugees alive. I mean, obviously, you're going to try and keep them all alive. But I need those virus samples, and I really need viable antibody samples from survivors. So keep them extra alive, I guess. You know what I'm saying. I'm going back to work now. Candles out. So the other thing that they said too is that they wanted to make players feel much more powerful during global events. And you know what? I think that that's a good thing. I think especially for the player that likes to run solo, shouldn't have to struggle as much. You know, there's people that like to run in a group all the time, and there's those that don't. And if you don't, you shouldn't be penalized for it. You should have just as much of a fighting chance as everybody else, in my opinion. this new the new striker gear set I really wanted to try out tactician I'm not gonna lie I was really looking for that as well well the boss fight I, I think is going to be quite interesting given that this is uh, this whole infection thing where you get sick actually propped my recovery link. And don't forget guys, we can recalibrate two slots on this classified gear. Confirmed. It's Napalm BL. I think that that's pretty amazing. And I can't wait to see, the damn yard. And when they do, you know, gonna kill every uh, the drop rate first of all. And then, uh, you know, how much we can really do with them. Combination 
Come on, I want to get him right in the head. Ah, potato aim this early in the morning. Come on. somebody said too was I wonder what's gonna happen to the Hexo sets you know the high-end exotic builds will those still be relevant when this patch drops <clears throat> with the with the classified gear my voice cracking up because I'm <clears throat> sorry guys again just waking up but I really really wanted to I uh, really wanted to play it so I really wanted to show you guys what this stuff was all about and I really wanted to, to dive right in as well but I don't, I don't think this will make them irrelevant, but I'm pretty sure that they won't be used quite as often, especially in the first part of the launch of 1.7, but after that, it uh, may change after that, I don't know, we'll see. I think if people start to find that the, one, you know, the classified builds are much, much more powerful than high-end exotic builds, then they might start to leave them behind, but other than that, we'll, uh, we'll see how this all turns out. Let's, let's keep going here. But I don't know, you guys let me know what you think too, for, especially for those of you that, uh, oh look at that, combination unlock, kill three cleaners within 15 seconds, nice. Um, those of you that do run the high-end exotic build, you know, once you get your hands on these new gear sets are, you know, well, I mean, they're not new gear sets, but the new set bonuses. Let me know if you guys are willing to, to switch up what you like, know, and use already for for these, or will you keep going with what you already have? Ah, I'm contaminated. Uh, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, agent. As soon as you lock the situation nice. down, I like seeing these accommodations ATF pop up on screen here. Yeah. And we're, we're near the latter end of the mission find. too. Medical here. personnel. A couple of EMTs in the mix, doctor. Yes. I really need my recovery link to, to come back, especially for fighting the, the boss first area. Aid with getting, they know how to tackle things. you get when you, when get it says that you're contaminated there, it it happens Without quite quickly. Contaminating the samples, I assume. Or infecting themselves. Yes. I'll take your word for it. Uh, I'm gonna send you, another seeker. Get moving, agent. Alright, we're safe. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I hope that you guys are enjoying the video. I know I'm enjoying the gameplay and I'm going this to probably Candle. do each mission and I'm going to ramp up the difficulty, I'm going to try some different builds, doing each one of them and I'll show you guys gameplay of each. Sad that I can't do this from console this week, but you know what, getting some footage is better than none and I know console players I'm sure you don't want to wait, I mean, if I didn't have a PC I would not want to wait, but at the beginning of the week check your emails. Just focusing on the task at hand. Lieutenant, the fact that Yannick said that we weren't even supposed to be secured. able to preload yes, the PTS that is in the PlayStation that. Store, I'm not sure why it's on the Xbox so. Store yet, but it's only the survival of the human um, I don't know. I'm, I mean, mine is installed. I know other people that have theirs installed. And somebody even said they don't own the division and commented. Alright, let's get in here. It's too late for these people here. They're dead, every one of them. But it's not for us. So we gotta do. Oh, I love Striker. I love this new Striker. So go to work. Oh, 
Alright, we're gonna go up here. I'm gonna try to take Martinez out first if I can. If I don't get spawned by the lunatics. And he's melted. My goodness. Make sure none of those crazy lunatics with the axes are coming up from behind. Alright, where's everybody else? Let's just go down and get them. Straight for that headshot. There we go. My goodness, come on. Playing on PC, the aim and everything, everything feels so much faster, smooth, but but faster. I do get used to that. Oh. You know what? I didn't know what to expect, but I'm not gonna lie. This uh, this honestly is not is not very hard on hard difficulty. So we're gonna ramp it up for the next go round. Finish off this mission because we're at the end. I just want to see what happens with rewards for global events. Exactly what pops up on screen and all that stuff. And uh, and then hopefully you guys will let me know what you think at the end of the video. There we go. There's my global event credits. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, you know what? It's uh, so far seems pretty enjoyable. If you can find I'm a frame wondering control, how long this will safe. last. The the enthusiasm and the excitement, because we've already done these missions quite a few times. Those of us that have been around since day one, those of you that are fairly new to the game, I'm sure this is an absolute joy that you have so much content, and that's great. That's, that's probably how I would feel. I'm sure that's how I I, I would feel. Uh, but you know, for those of us that have been around for a long time, I'm I'm curious as to know how long the excitement will last. You know, we're playing the same missions, just with new modifiers, etc. Similar to what Underground did, just you know, the Underground layout is different each time. Yes, good work. Versus these now, sample team, listen up. So. Like I was Combination saying, unlocked, those blood samples jacked up, and unlocked, so we can track corroborating factors. Nice. Let's move this discussion to a different channel so we don't bore the agent. All right, so there's the first global event mission from Hudson Refugee Camp Outbreak. And, uh, you know, I, I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun playing, that's for sure. That was pretty awesome. Actually, let me go back to that. Oh, it's an RPK. Delta Air <laughs> right at the end of the mission. Okay, all right. Well, anyways, I'm going to leave you guys here at that that's super unfortunate right at the very end uh, I'm gonna have to go back in but what hope oh, the public test server is currently offline okay anyways I'm sure this will happen quite a bit today given that global events are available regardless if you guys enjoyed the video once again please go ahead and drop a like it's much appreciated and it does help the channel grow if you're new I hope you will consider subscribing for more division content PS4 and Xbox users, I will be participating in those BTSs as well. If I do get the invite for Xbox, I haven't been on it quite as much lately, but PlayStation hopefully should be okay. And other than that, if not, I'll see you guys in 1.7 and I'll participate here in the PTS. One way or another, I will bring you guys footage. Hopefully you'll enjoy, and that is that. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at AfflictedGamer, just to keep in touch with me, ask me any questions that you like. and. That's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys soon in the next video.